We continue to show how Curator can help you detect fraud on things that are not necessarily too networking related. Uh, how can Curator help you? In this particular case, what we have here is uh, some Apache logs that has been uh, set. Uh, you don't get that by default, but it's been set with the X4 header uh, headers on. And that will tell you what's the actual IP that actually contacted the HTTP server. And the customer requirement is uh, very simple. Say if I get any uh, URL that has the word account on it and is contacting a bad IP, fire and offense. How do I know what a bad IP is? Well, I have, uh, in this case, a reference set and I'll show that in a minute, but uh, I have a reference set that gets actually populated automatically either by Soltra or, or any uh, stick and taxi, the X-Force, whatever you want to have to keep a current list of the bad IPs. In the financial space, it's very common to have uh, via Soltra a very up-to-date list of the bad IP actors out there. Uh, so again, if if anyone contacts one of those bad actors and in the URL the word account uh, exists, I want that offense to fire. And in fact, if we actually look here for account, click here next, we find here one example in which if this particular IP 64.244.88.10 is in that reference set that again gets automatically up to date uh, uh, externally by a threat source, then I want an offense to fire because I want to investigate that one. How do we do that in Curator? Well, the first thing is to add the log source. If you don't have it auto discover, you can actually add it manually. And here we have Apache. And you need to make sure that you have that custom property. And if you don't have it as part of your, or, or your uh, native DSM, you can actually Add it, which is actually very easy now in 7.28 uh, to do. So now I have, I can get the URL from the Apache log, I can get the actual X4 water header in it. And then all that's left to do is to create a rule that is going to actually fire on, on those conditions. So let's take a uh, look at the rule we did for that. So it says when any uh, of the X for water, I noticed that it's custom. I added this as a, as a custom extension, which is the forward the forwarded header um, of the actual IP involved. It's contained, that IP is contained in, in that uh, reference set that again is maintained uh, externally. And when the URL contains the word account, bing, fire a particular offense. And one thing I wanted to show it is that this is new in 727 is that we can actually index uh, on even custom properties as we can do here. Let's see this in action. And before I continue, I almost forgot to mention that this is one of the uh, uh, gr great use cases uh, created again by Green, Chris Hankins uh, from Dallas. So I want to make sure I give him credit for uh, providing this to us. We're going to replay that particular log and we see the actual Apache events uh, coming in here. And actually we see, you know, the, some events uh, being generated by the offense, uh, by the rule that we uh, actually did. And in here we have actually two offenses uh, being fired by uh, this particular uh, event. Let's take a look at the second offense in here. We can actually, have we done many, many times, we can show that the rule that we created is the one that uh, trigger uh, this particular event. And we can actually go ahead and look at the events that contributed to this uh, offense. And here we have them. Let's click on the first one and see what we see in there. And we see how we that X4 water uh, header field 
which is a custom property that we added, is, uh, is here, and we can tell that this uh, IP address is in the reference set of bad IP actors. And if we scroll down and see the actual uh, event, yeah, we even see here that in the URL the word account uh, actually exists. And we see that we have the URL as a custom property as well that extracted the full URL and yet uh, we can still see the account in there. So again, one, one easy way that uh, Curator can help you detect fraud by uh, looking into a reference set externally maintained by the threat source and looking at uh, some specific properties of, uh, of your log. In this particular case, the URL contains the word account and it's been talking to a bad IP actor.